Hi guys. Okay, so I'm making this video. It's um, an updated version of how I work my business because some things have changed since I made my last one and I get still so many people asking me exactly what I do. And I'm going to get very detailed with you. So um, if you're really wanting to know how I work my business and how um, you know, I've been successful in two and a half years of doing it and promoting to triple diamond in two years. This is what I'm doing. Okay. So, um, you guys, there's not a wrong way. I'm not saying this is like exactly how you work your business because everyone works their business differently. Um, but this is the way I work it. And if you really want to know, or if you want to like make some changes, um, in yours, like this is what it's for. It's just for people that really need to figure out how simple this business is because what we do is we tend to overcomplicate this business like that's what usually everyone does <laughs> if they are struggling or if they think they it, don't have time or whatever they're overthinking the process okay this is such a simple business to work okay it's not easy didn't say it was easy it's simple you can do it as long as it's a priority in your life and you know if you're really wanting to make a change and really wanting to better your business it's always good to learn new things. So that's why I'm updating this because I've learned new ways to work my business um, that have been super successful. So first I'm gonna kind of go through my checklist um, and kind of be a little bit detailed on that. So first thing you need to do, number one in your business, personal development. You hear us talk about it all the time. We're not blowing smoke, okay? all top leaders in this company do personal development. That's why they're top leaders. That's why they're top 150, top 200, whatever. Okay. Promise you, you have to have a great mindset in this business. If you want to do well, you know, if you notice, like I notice when, if I don't do personal development on one day, I'm more negative than I ever am when I do personal development. Um, more negative thoughts can creep in my mind. People get to me more. Um, so personal development is to help grow your mind, not just in your business, but you as a person, that is so important because your business won't grow unless you grow. You got to grow for your business to grow. Promise. Okay. I've grown so much with this business. I used to think that personal development was dumb. Um, and of course this video, take the tips and use them. Don't just take the tips, listen to the video and not try or not do, or don't skip any steps. Okay. That I'm telling you, because if you want this to work, you have to do everything I'm saying. Okay. Because it's worked for me. And I'm not saying everything to a T is going to be perfect for your business. Okay. We do things a little differently, but mainly we do things the same. Okay. The, the end results the same. We just maybe do our techniques a little differently. Um, so personal development. So this is what I do every morning. Okay. I wake up, I wake up early because I have two kids and um, they, it's hard to do. I can't do my personal development with a lot, of, a lot of chaos. Try to do personal development in quiet. So if it takes you having to get up early before your child or your children or whatever, do that. Okay. Don't like say you don't have time for personal development and wake up till 10 because I used to do that and my days went like to crap. So um, I wake up early. And I feel so good when I do it. Not when I, when I wake up. I hate waking up early, you guys. I hate it to a passion, okay? I stay up late and wake up early, but that's just me. And um, I don't like it, but I do it because I, f I know I'm going to feel better once I'm out of the bed. And when I do my personal development and fill my cup up and have that quiet time to myself, okay? You moms, you know what I'm talking about. You need quiet time, okay? So start off my devotional. You can get any devotional, okay? This is the one I love. I got it from Hobby Lobby, 13 bucks. Um, this is a daily devotional. I journal, okay? I have a journal. Literally, there's no technique to journaling. I just write how what I'm thinking. Sometimes it's letters to God. Sometimes it's praying. Sometimes it's, it's affirmations. I do write affirmations a lot. Sometimes it's, um, I started doing this new thing. It's um, writing down, um, where is it? Writing down, what do I really want and why? And I want to my challenge myself to do different ones every single day um, because this will get you thinking like, okay, why am I doing this business? Because on my worst days, when days you feel like you want to give up, days that are hard that you just want to quit, and you're like, you know what? It's going to be easier if I don't do it. Well, really, you're wrong because you started for a reason. And if you quit,
quit or give up on yourself too soon, you know, you're not going, you're going to end up where you were when you first started. Do you want to be there? Ask yourself, do I want to be where I was when I first started? Probably not because you just started for a reason. So make sure you make yourself think, okay? Sometimes when we write something down on a piece of paper, it makes us like think of things that we never thought we would think about, you know, and putting it on paper, it makes it come become true. So like, I talk about what I'm thankful for. Um, I talk about my struggles and I cross them out and then write down things under it um, that are opposite of those struggles. I write down just what I'm thinking. Um, um, I write down affirmations. I write down like, um, you know, things about like volume and, and what I want in the next few months in my business, things like that, okay? Journaling is so refreshing and I was never a person that would like to do that either, but I started and guess what? I love it. So I do that. I pray. I listen to, um, I just got done listening to David Platt's sermon. I listen to Pam Souter's podcast. Um, and you can do that throughout the day. Okay. I just did it while I was working. I was listening to podcasts. I like to do that while I'm working or some Christian music or something to kind of just like calm my mind. Um, but when it's quiet, I do these things and pray and things like that. Things that need to be done before your business, honestly. Because I can tell you right now, if you're doing your business and you're starting your your morning off with God every morning, I can guarantee you way more success than if you don't. And I know not everyone's a believer, but I am, and I truly believe that. And I believe that, um, you know, if you give all the glory to God, and if you are doing your, you're working your business for the right reasons, he's gonna bless you, and he's gonna bless your efforts, okay? So just know that. Personal development, one. That's two. Okay, so what I do, usually I like to do things that are harder for me to do throughout the day first, like messaging. Messaging is harder for me to kind of do when chaos is going around. I need to be, I'm the type of person that needs to be, um, you know, in quiet or listening like by myself without kids going around to message. Now, catching up on some messages or like follow-ups or something like that, that's not as hard, but sending new initial messages, okay? So, of course, like, first when I, um, I kind of look and see who messaged me back from yesterday or I respond back to those people first. Um, and then, so they don't get lost when I start messaging. And then I go to um, Instagram and I start messaging about potential distributor messages. Okay. This is what I do every day. You ready? 50 potential distributor messages on Instagram. How do I find those people to message? I found this new thing that I um, thought was awesome. And it's Instagram. So I go to Instagram and I go to um, following. So it doesn't let you do this on followers, which sucks, but it's okay. I'm doing it to following. Okay. So um, let me go here. Okay. So this right here are the people that I just started following just now. Like, and they followed me back. Okay. What's really cool, because everyone's like, I don't want to message the people I just followed right away. Yeah, you don't. You want to build relationships first, okay? So um, what I do is that little arrow right there, those little two arrows up and down, you click it, and it'll say, date followed earliest, okay? You can click that, and it will switch to people that you started following, like when you first got an Instagram, okay? So these are a lot of people that I went to high school with and things like that, my sister, um, Taylor Swift's on there, <laughs> um, people that you started following first. So, um, these are people that, this is your warm, warm market. Okay. These are people that you want to reach out to first before your new people. Okay. And, um, a lot of times I'm, what I'm doing right now, cause I've already messaged a lot of people, all these people in the past, what I'm doing is I'm going back and I'm unsending messages and resending new ones. Or if there's someone that I, you know, never followed up with, I'm sending up a follow-up message. If it's and what I'm doing while I'm doing this guys, this is the kicker. Okay. This is the little tip that does matter while I'm doing this and messaging people. I'm interacting with their page because that means you are going to mix up your newsfeed to your warmer market. Okay. And um, with new people, 
every single day. So I'm messaging and I'm interacting all at the same time. I interact first, so I like three of their pictures, I comment on one, I'm interacting, okay? Not just liking, I'm commenting too. I'm interacting and then um, I message them. But what that does is makes Instagram think, oh my gosh, they're best friends. Like I'm gonna put her, you know, news feeds on her page. And I've noticed with my new posts or when I post, those people that I've been interacting with are the ones who are liking my page, liking my posts, okay? So it works, okay? You want new people to see your posts every single day. So do that while you're messaging, interact first. So don't just like miss a message interact first then message okay such a huge tip and what i message is just a very genuine genuine message that um i typed up myself i usually just like you want it to sound like you but um stop folks and, and the message isn't the key i guess you can send a, a wrong message but um, you know, be you, just be genuine. And there's not a secret soft secret message that everyone's sending that works. It's just people being themselves and messaging genuinely. So I'm like, Hey girl, um, if it's someone that I reached out to before, Hey girl, I know I reached out to you before about this business. Um, I just came across your profile again and I figured that that was a sign that I need, needed to reach out again. I still think you were made, you would be amazing at what I do. Like, have you ever, have you considered making some extra income? Um, from social media anymore or something along those lines if it's someone to reach out to if it's new I've kind of seen the same thing just not hey I've already reached out to you before kind of thing I like to say those things when I've reached out to someone because I want them to know like I know that I reached out to them before like recognize that um, I don't know I just like to do it that way so that's how I message on Instagram and I message for potential distributors on Instagram when people tell me no I get them to make a potential distributor host post for me Yes. Okay. Potential distributor host posts. And it's just like, Hey friends, um, my friend Courtney is looking for two more, um, people that want to make some extra money over social media, something along those lines. Okay. You can get a distributor host post from your upline. Um, and then I post it with a picture of like me and some girls from conference and it said looking for brand ambassadors, or I'll switch it up to like working or now hiring or something along, along those lines on Instagram. And then I, of course, enter them into like my giveaway that I'm doing or the team's doing or whatever. Um, so turn your nose into host posts, even on Instagram. Instagram's not as user friendly for host posts, but you can make collections. Um, so for instance, if someone makes a host post for you, I'm kind of going to, I'm going to be on this random person's page. She didn't make a host post for me, but this is just a way to show you. Okay. There's a little tag right there. Collections. That's a collections. Just like, um, Facebook has, and I have June Haps, and there's my potential ones, okay, right there. So you can make collections, you can make PDT collections, PLC collections on Instagram. So guess what, you have a folder of all the people who posted for you, all the people who your potential's with, whatever. So do that on Instagram so you're keeping track of all who posts for you too. And um, so that's what I do on Instagram. And, um, then I'll go jump to host post messaging on Facebook. Now, this is not fun, okay? I hated doing this, but I knew it was important for my business. Where is my, oh, here they are. Facebook friends list. Okay, so Facebook hates us. They do. They used to have an amazing thing that they used to use, the tool they used to use, and it was the alphabetical order thing on uh, Messenger. They don't have that anymore, okay? so. What I'm doing, print it off this friends list, okay? Not fun, a lot of paper. I did front and back, so I didn't waste as many trees. Um, whatever, okay? I had a lot. But I knew this was important because don't you ever, okay, this is how I was feeling, and I know a lot of people feel the same way. You don't know who to message for host posts, so you feel like you're going round and round in circles with people that's all active now, and you keep popping up people that you've messaged like yesterday or whatever, and like, oh my gosh, I'm not finding new people. This is so annoying. I know I've been adding friends on Facebook. Why am I can keep clicking on the same freaking people. This will prevent you from doing that, okay? If you wanna be successful and host a post, don't say, host your post ain't working for me no more. No, you're not working for it, okay? You have to find new ways to do things. If something's not working for you, freaking change it. Ask your upline, hey, this isn't working for me. Do you have any other ideas that I can be doing? Like, the only way it's gonna change is if you ask for new advice and new ideas. If you're just gonna be like complaining and, um, you know, 
but I suck. I'm not enrolling in this. I'm that. Change what you're doing. It might not, it might be something that you're doing. How are you going to figure that out? Ask your upline, ask your leader, ask someone. Okay. So I was, you know, what I like to do when I feel like I need to learn new things, I like to get on YouTube videos like Jade Hooper or, you know, Morgan Martin or whoever. I like to learn what they're doing. Okay. They are improving themselves every single day. And so that's how I learned a lot of things. So sometimes you have to look for the answer yourself. I know, crazy, right? Sometimes your upline won't be available. You can't rely on your upline to be there like every single time you text them. They have a life too, okay? So look for the answers yourself. We have so many tools. Connect app, hello, best thing ever. YouTube, don't just YouTube, it works stuff. Just YouTube like Jade Hooper. Think people that are very successful in this business. Um, so you can learn from them, okay? So I learned. I went right off your Facebook friends list. Okay, didn't want to do it, but I did it. Sometimes you just got to do what you don't want to do to make things happen, okay? And then what I'm doing is I'm going down the list. That's simple, okay? And what I'm doing while I'm doing that is I'm putting HAPS, and if they, if I messaged them before about, like, potential distributors or whatever, I put PDT next to it, and then, um, or if they're a customer already or distributor already, I put that next to them. So next time I go through this again to follow up, guess what? It's right there. I already have it wrote down. Print off your friends list. It takes some time, but do it. You'll feel much better. Um, so that's what I do for host posts. Go down the list and message host posts. Don't need to send you. No, don't need to explain host posts. You should know what that is. If you don't, um, there's plenty of host post videos um, that you can watch on our team page or um, YouTube. Okay. So again, YouTube. So that's what I do. Those are my two ways of message. And I don't message just 10 host post messages. I message until I at least get five host posts up a day, at least. I'll message more if I have more time to get more up, okay? It's a numbers game. The more you message, the more responses you'll get, the more yeses you'll get. And you will get more no's too because you're sending more messages. The key is don't come and say, I'm not getting it, no one's interested, this and that, and be all negative Nancy because no one wants to hear that for one. But for two, um, you know, how many messages you send in? That's my first question with people. Uh, five, uh, 10. Well, you're not going to get those yeses with just 10 messages. Okay. Um, the only way that's acceptable is if you're brand new and you're still trying to learn this thing. Okay. But if you've been in the business for like two months or more, like you can be sending more than 10 messages a day. Okay. It's, it cracks me up when people say they're too busy and they aren't because you can find time. If people with five kids can do this business, and five find time to message and do their business, you can too, I promise you. Okay, there's someone always busier than you doing more than you. And I always tell myself that because when I suck one day, I'm like, there's someone that just did better than me today and they have way more on their plate. There's no excuse why I don't need to be doing this, you know? So anyways, okay, next thing I do, add to our network. We should all be doing that, okay, every day. If you don't add to your network, you're gonna stop at a standstill in your business and your business is just gonna stop growing. You don't want that. You want to reach out to new people. So what I do, I literally just go on Instagram while I'm like, if I'm scrolling to interact or whatever, even, well, my phone's messing up. Oh crap. My phone's messing up. <laughs> okay. Siri, what the heck? Um, so a lot of times, even when I, um, add new people on Instagram and uh, I think they have a really pretty profile. I think they're going to have really pretty friends and awesome friends too. I'll go to their pictures and just follow people. I'll go follow, 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 follow. I don't spend time taking a lot of time looking at Instagram because my profile is private. So when they add me back, that's when I take time to look at their Instagram. And if they're a distributor with something else or whatever, I'll unfollow. I won't accept them and I'll unfollow them. Just like that's the time that I've realized because like, you waste a lot of time if you're trying to look at everybody's profile while you're following. But on Facebook, I do the same thing. I add friends of friends who likes people's pictures or if it's like an, an ad that I really like like it's a makeup ad or, or something um, or a mom ad or something like that I'll go to the likes and I'll start adding people but on Facebook I will check out their profile first um because it's not as easy just to unfollow or unfriend I um just glance at like the very first top section of like what they do like their job and where they live, like that area, I kind of glance and see what they what they do, and I kind of just scroll just a second. And if they look like someone that's not a distributor in something else, or they look like someone that is a distributor for it works, I'm not going to add them. 
okay let's like and only add people that you think you have common interest with so i like to you know add only women i like to add people, moms uh, boy moms i like to just add you know just add people that i want to be friends with that's what you want to do and right when they add you back as a friend or follow you back straight up interact with them right then so then it's already like showing that you're interested in them and that you are just being friendly and genuine. So like some of their pictures, comment on one, like do stuff like that. Okay. We want to build relationships and be nice to people. Okay. People would appreciate nice people. So adding to my network. And I also have all this printed, print off a checklist or write, write one. Because even for me, been in the business two and a half years, I know what to do. But sometimes I feel like, I'm like, what should I be doing right now? you know, and then I don't have to do that anymore because it's wrote down. I can check it off when I'm done. Um, so write your checklist, daily non-negotiables, okay? Um, then what I do is I like to check in with my team. I like to send, you know, something. It might be my whole team. It might be some one-on-one -on -one people. It might be um, just something that was inspirational that I read or, or heard. Um, it might just be, you know, checking in, sending my new, my new distributors um, some little tasks, I like to do or you know messages or check in with them like check in with your people okay care for them love on your team love on your new distributors every single day okay um and it doesn't have to be always work stuff it can just be something like i just heard this quote today i just wanted to share it with you guys it doesn't have to be like what are y'all doing every day okay um, and I always like to share what I'm doing with my team. Like, God, guys, this is what I'm doing right now. Like, I wanted to share this with you. I don't know if it would help you or anything, but like I shared my journaling stuff today on how I've started a journal. Like, what do I want with my life kind of thing? Um, and if they do it, that's great. If they don't, that's on them. Like, I'm just sharing my ideas and you can take it or you can leave it. It doesn't matter. But at least I'm checking in and I'm being there. Um, Check in on my, so I already did it over that. Um, adding to my network, I already went over that post, okay? Post in the morning. And sometimes it'll be on my story. I post on my story way more than on my wall. I There's studies that show that stories are mainly like looked at more than on your wall, but you still want to post it on your wall. Why? Posting is your um, storefront. That is your open sign, okay? Um, don't just post and not message, okay? Because posting's not asking, but posting is still important. So uh, in the morning, I usually like to post like something inspirational or what I'm doing or like an opportunity to post of like being able to work from home and not sitting in traffic, something like that or um, whatever. And sometimes I don't post till like noon or a little later. It just depends, but I'll still be posting on my story all day long, okay? So um, show your real self on your stories, okay? But post really pretty pictures on your, on your wall. Um, I look hot mess a lot of times in my story, but that's just showing people that I'm a real person. Um, but like take time to filter and take time to, you know, type up something genuine, not copy paste everything. I cannot stand copy paste everything. Okay. Um, again, when you're new, you're new and you're still learning, but still change it up, you know? Um, but take time to write your posts. Okay. So I do that. Sometimes people even plan their posts for the whole day the night before. That's cool, too, if you're super busy. Um, you know, um, see, I already went over messaging. And then I just spend a few minutes, like, interacting with people. And a lot of times my interacting that I do is when I add them as a friend or add them as a – or follow them, whatever. That's usually when I do a lot of my interacting, so I don't spend time just scrolling because next thing you know, you'll be wasting so much time. So what has helped me – tremendously hold myself accountable to do these things and not spend too much time on one thing because I would get sucked into like messaging for like 30 minutes or something or and then I'm like dang it I didn't get to add my friends or vice versa so what I've been doing is I've been timing myself and it's a focus keeper app okay looks like this it's just a little timing app and it's like tick 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 and I almost like make it a game like oh my gosh how many messages can I send out in this amount of time how can how many people can add up with this amount of time you know so um i like to time myself with every task that i have on my daily checklist um also i have a nighttime checklist so writing down my volumes every single night before i go to bed um i check my down downline activity to see who's rocking the business who's enrolling shout them out um it's so important to do those things with your team because people love recognition um and love to know that they're doing a good job um, moving any customers or distributors that I have that day, getting on Zooms. Guys, if you're not getting on calls that we have each week, you're not getting on trainings, you're hurting your business. We don't do it just to hear our voices, okay? I'm not doing this to just look at myself, talk, okay? <laughs> um, it's kind of awkward, but, um, 
we do it for you. We do it to grow your business because we know that it's going to help. So it's on you if you do not do these things, okay? You can't blame anyone else but you. So making sure that you are filling your cup up every single day, learning new things, getting on trainings, okay? There are so many trainings during the week you can tune into. Um, and then I just read a little, a few pages in like my, my personal development book. So um, like my mornings are spent with God and doing those things and journaling. My nighttime is personal development. So I'm reading this book right now. I just ordered a leadership book, the John C. Maxwell um, book that I'm going to be reading too um, while I'm reading this one. So do something before you go to bed that's positive too. So you're going to bed with a, a positive mindset and you're waking up with a positive mindset because that will make you a positive person. If you focus, you know, on negative things, it'll be negative, okay? If you're speaking negative, like, and I was, like, listening to a Zoom, and she's, like, your words are so powerful. Whatever you, if you're complaining or if you're saying something negative, that's what you're going to attract, okay? That's what your team's going to do. If you're complaining about this, your team's going to complain about that. So you can't get mad at them if they start complaining. Or, you know, if it's, what are you doing in your business? Are you growing your business every day? You can't complain and say, I'm not enrolling anyone when you're not putting in the work every single day. Okay. You cannot I have so many people that complain to me. I'm not enrolling or whatever. And then I'm like, you ain't posting every day. I don't see you posting. You ain't, I know you ain't messaging every day because you'd be enrolling if you're doing these things. Okay. I promise you do the steps. That is the focus steps to success. Okay. And then also use the tools that we have for you. Connect app, okay? Customer retention. Find two days out of the week or out of the month that you want to focus on customer retention, okay? What I've been doing, this Connect app is bomb, you guys. Take time to learn how to use Connect. Your business will change tremendously. There's a way that you can, down there at the bottom, the people, you can make groups, create groups, okay? And you can add people that you've enrolled. So what I've been doing is making groups of like my distributors I rolled in July, my customers have enrolled, enrolled July. So then I can follow up with them very simply next month and then a third month. And then on the third month, I'll offer the opportunity or to do another 90 day challenge to get more perk points um, because I have them organized. So July, I go to, back to May. I'm like, hey, you're on your third month. Like, I'm so excited for you. I'm so glad you're loving the products. And I know they're loving the products. I've been checking in on them. Um, I wanted to offer this opportunity to you because, you know, you, since you love the products, you might as well make some money with it. Like, have you ever considered doing something like this? Yes, no, whatever. If they say no, then I'm going to offer them to do another 90 day challenge. Well, since you're loving the products, was there anything else you wanted to try for another 90 days? Because you get free 50 perk points after you complete another 90 day challenge on top of the ones you already get. Like, would you be interested in this? And I do those things. Um, and I love this connect app because you can organize everyone. So what I like to do when I get, cause, uh, when I get customers, you know, you get the email or whatever, I flag their email so I can have them like in a folder on my email. So then I can go back and say, okay, who have I enrolled, you know, this month I can go back to July first and I scroll and I, then I start like adding to my group on connect which they're already in there because your connect connects to your e-suite. So their name, name and number should already be in the connect app. So you don't have to physically type their name or number in, which is freaking awesome. It doesn't take but a second. Okay. So you'll start typing up shirt. You'll say like, um, you'll say like a little plus sign to say existing. Um, you can make new or whatever. I always do existing and then you type their name in and it pops up with their number and you put them in a folder. Boom. Okay, so customer retention, a couple times out of the month, making sure you're checking in on your customers because we focus so much on new customers. We also need to be focusing on the ones that we have. We work so hard to get them. We want them to stay, okay? So you can't get butt hurt when they cancel their auto shipment after 90 days. And you're like, why did they cancel if they didn't like the product? Because they were taking it wrong. And you didn't know because you didn't check in on them, okay? So it's so important to do those things too. Um, and, you know, just pouring into your, your business every single day, pouring into your team. That's literally what I do, you guys. And it does not take me long at all. If you're busy, you work full time, you got 27 kids, you got dogs, you got, you know, college, you got whatever, you can do this business. It's all about priority. How bad do you want it? Because you're going to make time. Everyone's freaking busy. Don't even give me that. Okay. So many people say, I'm too busy. Blah, blah, blah. Wake up early, go bad later. Like, do it while you're crapping. Like, I don't know. You got to get, you got to think of times that, you know, you can fit it in. Okay. I can sometimes, you know, have a few 
like 30 minutes or to an hour if like my kids are chill or um, they're napping or something or when they go to bed, that's it. But during the day, I cannot sit and do my business like hours, okay? Yes, I do this full time, I stay home, but you guys, if you're your moms, you know how crazy it is. Like my kid's crying right now, he just woke up from a nap, so I've gotta go. But um, I wanna do this really quick and take advantage of, you know, showing you exactly how you can work your business. This is just an idea, I'm not telling you what to do. This is on you, you can do whatever you want, but this is how I work my business every day, okay? So if you have any questions, um, let me know. I'm gonna post this in the team um, page. But um, yeah, just wanted to share. Bye guys.